Hello everyone, my name is John Dole, and we're going to do another edition of da -da -da, the Ghost Layers Report, right here in Tokyo, Japan. Now before we get started, I do want to mention that I am a little uh, sick at the moment, so please excuse any sniffling or a random cough or anything like that. Now what we're going to talk about is something that um, kind of touches a bit close to me. A report has come out that says that um, the child poverty rate in Japan has increased to six, a little over 16%. That number increases dramatically to around 54% for single parent households. Now let's keep in mind that in Japan single parent households are overwhelmingly uh, single working mothers with sometimes multiple children. Now what is causing this? Well, there's some interesting things going on in Japan right now, the, what the bourgeois are doing to the working class. And this is happening in other countries as well as a current global trend of capitalists. They're putting a lot of workers on these uh, zero-hour, non-guaranteed contracts. They use the euphemism in Japan of a non-regular employee. Now, these wages are extremely low and not sufficient to maintain even one human life. Nonetheless, a life of a child on top of that. Now, the reason this is happening, the reason they're doing this, is because that capitalism is in a very difficult situation right now. They're having trouble increasing profit. As we know, eventually over time, when you have this constant never-ending mass overproduction profit will decrease regardless of how much you produce so the capitalists must find a way to increase profits so what do they do well they attack the first group the easiest group to go after and that is the working class and the result of this is of course more people living in poverty now for it, you put a child in poverty all for the purpose of lining your pockets of course, this is beyond disgusting and beyond acceptable for us, but this is happening in Japan and something that is not being talked about by the Japanese government at all. Uh, they don't want to deal with this because they're too busy lining your pockets and trying to militarize the country to further benefit the interests of the capitalist class. Now what happens to these children who are living in poverty? Well, interestingly enough, it's more difficult for them to have access to education. Also, they have difficulty getting um, medical services. Now, yeah, Japan has a what they call a national social health care system, but it doesn't really um, match what it sounds like. To get the full benefit of it, you have to be fully employed. Not only fully employed, and you also need in a situation where a company will put you in the Shikai Hoken system, which is where they pay half of the cost of your pension and health care. So when you retire, your health, your pension benefits are way higher, and your medical costs are, bit, are much lower. So you have to be in that particular situation as a worker to get benef full benefit of it. Now, if you're not in that situation, you go down to second tier, which you pay everything out of pocket, but by law, you still got to pay it. And of course, the people living in poverty can't pay for this. Now, the government technically can arrest you for this and fine you for it, but what would be the point? You know, they, I've never heard of a case where someone was actually fined or punished. You know, because of poverty, they can't pay for the health care service and pension they're required to pay for. You know, and also, uh, schools are reporting that many of these children who are living in poverty here in Japan are struggling to get access to healthy food every day. The only healthy meal they get is when they come to school. Because simply put, despite how hard their guardian or parent is working, they simply cannot provide enough healthy, nutritious food for these children so they grow up slightly malnourished. It affects their brain development. It affects their physical development, their emotional development, and also their outlook on life in general. You know, they have no hope for a future no hope for much of anything you know now I can speak from personal experience I am a child of poverty I was born into poverty and I grew up in poverty I know exactly what it's like 
and how it affects a child growing up. It really does mess with your head, and you struggle really hard to escape it. Now somehow I was lucky enough to escape poverty. It was not easy. And to this day, I'm a constant threat for falling back into it. And I have experienced, I got a taste of poverty in Japan for a certain amount of time here. It's terrible. You know? And this is what's being done in the working class here. And I expect this trend to continue until, you know, the people themselves start fighting on their own. Or the unions get a bit more ballsy and try to reverse this trend. And the unions are trying here. The labor unions are trying really hard to fight all this shit off. But they're having trouble they're doing it. It's a hell of an uphill battle because they're fighting a big giant monster of the bourgeois class here. they got a lot of power and a lot of control, but the unions are trying. So, so I do support the unions and their efforts. But also the people themselves, you know, have to stand up and get educated and realize what they can do to fight this. So yeah, this is what's going on in Japan. This is how the working class are being treated. If it's the first time you've seen me, hey, go ahead and subscribe. You'll get lots of videos like this and maybe from time to time, something a little extra. So until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. Checking out.